Well, welcome back. Today we have an interesting topic, which is, oh, wait, what is that? It's, no, that's not right. We're gonna do something that's a little more painful than that. It's called adding and subtracting fractions. Same denominators, different denominators, and so on, okay. Well, let's go over the actual rule that has to happen. And then, by the way, nag, 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 this is why mom and dad made you do all those thousands of, uh, you know, practice sheets of your times tables so you know 8 times 7 is 87, and 7 plus 3 is 73, stuff like that. So you'd be a little faster at this kind of stuff. Because fractions get to be a big pain in the rear unless you know your times tables and your addition tables really fast because uh, you sit there and wonder how many times this goes into that and what's the common denominator. That is why you learn all those tables lightning fast to make this kind of junk faster. Okay, well, let's do them. Um, if they have the same denominator, like in other words, let's say it's two uh, sevenths plus three sevenths. Well, the end, that's a three. That's gonna be five sevenths, right? You can look at a piece of pie and go, oh yeah, that fits perfectly. Different denominators, you're gonna to have to figure out a common denominator. So if you have something like this, let's say it's uh, two thirds plus one, I don't know, eighth or something like that. You can't just you can't just go, oh, two plus one is three, and three plus eight is 11, I got it, yeah, no, you don't have nothing, okay? Uh, I shouldn't say that grammatically, that should be, you ain't got nothing, like you ain't got nothing. Yeah, you're gonna to have to, in other words, take these pieces of pie. One of these pieces of pie is divided into eight pieces and you've eaten one out of the eight pieces. The other piece of pie you've di divided into three pieces and you've eaten two of the pieces. Well, you can't just slap those together and say, oh, I know exactly how much this, I mean, what's the, I mean, how are you gonna know? In other words, here's a pie, right? You've eaten this much of it, right? Wait, that's not right, that's not, that's a fourth, not an eighth. Like here is an eighth, right? Okay, and then over here you go, oh, I got two thirds of a pie. It's gonna be this much and so on. Well, how much is this left over? How much is that out of the pie? I mean, you can't just look at that and eyeball it and know what it is. So you're gonna to have to go, okay, ugh. I'm gonna to have to make both of these pieces. I'm gonna to have to cut them into this and that. And we go, oh, this, how many, this is how many, this pie and that pie. So you go, look, three and eight both go into 24. So we're gonna make two new fractions. They both have 24 at the bottom. How do you go from three to 24? Well, you multiply by eight, which is what you do to two. 16 times, uh, eight times two is 16. Eight times three is 24, so one times three. 16 plus three is 19, 24 fourths. There you go, that's, how you, that's the way you do it. Okay, so let's simplify this. If you want to, pause it and see what you get. Okay, we're gonna have to subtract this using the same denominator. Well, 11 and five multiply to give you 55. So 11 times five, so you have five times five is this one, five times 11 and one times 11. So 25 minus 11 gives you 14 over 55. And that's the answer for that one. Okay, let's try another one. Ooh, there's three of them. That makes it even more fun. Well, you're gonna have to know what numbers four, nine, and three all go into. Now, you, if you completely get lost and you can't figure it out, you can always multiply four by nine by three. And four times nine is 36 times three is 108. Do you really want fractions with 108s in the bottom? And that's terrible. Anyway, just look at four and nine and three and what do they all go into? Well, they all go into 36. And by the way, you can always use your factor trees if you want to, to figure out what these all go into. Look at this. Here's four, right? That's two and two. Here's nine, right? That's three and three. Here's three. That's three. Okay, nothing to do. You're gonna pick which one of these has the most twos. That one does. Two times two is four. Which one of these has the more threes? Mm -hmm. That one has more. Three times three is nine. That's your answer. Boom. Okay, so 36 is what you want. I'm going to erase this so it's not confusing. Okay, so we're going to rewrite these as 36. Okay, so 1 over 4 will be 9 over 36. 
9 times 4 is 36, so 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 12, and then 2 times 12, there we go. 9 plus 20 is 29, plus 24 is 53. You can leave it like that if you want to, it's fine. Or you can do a mixed number, 1 and 17 36 There you go, and that's your answer. Okay, look on page 102, and uh, let's try those practice problems. Go ahead and pause it and come back when you're ready. Okay, well, page one, you're going to find the common denominator. I hope you, you see it's 20. And make sure you know that these, this is a subtraction problem, too. So 3 fourths is 15 twentieths. 2 fifths is 8 twentieths. So that'll be 7 twentieths. Pause that and try B. Ah, look at this. Don't get fooled. That's a minus sign right there. I mean, at least it is if I copied it down correctly, which I think I did. Okay, so what does 3, 2, and 4, or what do they all go into? They all go into 12. So something plus 12 minus something over 12. Okay, so you, there we go. 5 thirds, 3 times 4 is uh, 12, so 5 times 4 is 20. Half is 6, fourth is 3. So 20 plus 6, 26, minus 3, 23, 12. So you can leave it like that if you want to, or you can go, that's 1 and 11 twelfths. Okay, all right, pause it and try C. All right, 5, 8, 2, and 4, they all go into 8. All right, 5 eighths stays the same, minus 4 eighths plus 2 eighths. So that's going to be 5 eighths minus 4 eighths, 1 eighth plus 2 eighths, 3 eighths. Pause it and try D. Okie doke. Let's try D. 3 times 4 times 5. Well, you know, if you didn't know any better, you'd have to just multiply them all. The answer is, it does happen to be 60. So 60 all the way across. 2 thirds of 60 is 40, 3 fourths of 60 is 45, a fifth of 60 is 12. 40 plus 45 is 85, minus 12 is 73 sixtieths, or 1 and 13 sixtieths. Okay, all right, that is it for fractions today. Do a good job on your practice problems today, and uh, go hug your mom or uh, do the dishes or something nice. Go, go give your mom a hug and tell her thanks for homeschooling you. She'll appreciate that. See ya.